Welcome to CS101. We're going to cover Word Chapter 2, Project 2A Resume. First thing you need to do is open your Word 2013 and create a new document. I've taken the liberty of creating shortcuts. That way this tutorial goes through faster. Just ignore the shortcuts. It's what you will be typing out. The first line first thing you need to do is make sure that your ruler is on and your formatting marks is turned on. We're going to go to File, Save As. You're going to browse where you wish to save your document. You're going to save it as last name, first name, to a resume. We're going to go to Insert, Footer, the blank. You're going to go to Document Info and File Name. And you're going to close your footer and press Save. Next step is you're going to go to your Insert tab, click on Table, and create a 2 by 4 table. In the first box, you are going to type out the word OBJECTIVE in all caps. And in this, you're going to press your tab button. And you are going to type out the word, following words. We're on page 182 in your textbook. Make sure you press tab again, it puts you to the next box. And press your tab button again. And you're going to enter in the following information. You're going to press tab again. Go to your third box. Experience. And press tab. And you're going to enter in the following information. Now, after you have pressed enter after instruction team, you need to go to insert object text from file. You're going to navigate to your student data files. Make sure you open Word Chapter 2, and we're going to open W02A Experience. And it will fill in the rest for you, and you want backspace to lose that excess space. Come down here to the third line, and you're going to type in Honors and Activities. Press your Tab key. You're going to click save. So far, your document, after all the things you have typed in, should look like this. It should be some accomplishment experience. Honors and activities. Make sure you save your document. I'm going to press Control Home to go to the top of the document. You're going to click and highlight everything in this box. I'm going to go to the Home tab. You're going to click your bulleted. And you're going to click your Decrease Indent button. Click your Format Painter. And you're going to come down here, and you're going to highlight the following. Click your Format Painter again. And again. And 
again. We are now at the beginning of page 185. I'm going to press the control thumb key again. We're going to make sure we are here in the middle. I'm going to drag it over to one and a half. I'm going to go to page layout. Excuse me. To layout. And where it says width, you're going to type in 1.4. Press enter, and you'll see that it moved. And you're going to come over here to auto fit and auto fit window, and it moved back. We're going to turn it over to 186. We're going to point to right here above honors and activities. And I'm going to press that. And it inserts a row above. In this first box, you're going to input education. And then the following information for it. And you will save. So again, your document should look something like this at this moment in time. We are now on page 187. We're going to press Control Home again to go to the top. We're going to come over here to Insert Above, and it inserts a row above. And then you're going to click over here where it says Merge Cells. You're going to input. you're going to go to home and here at the bottom of the paragraph you're going to click this little button right here it's going to open up you're going to come down to tabs you're going to enter in 6.5 right set and ok and you're going to enter in the following information and you're going to hit the tab key did not work. I may have to type this out. Let me try that step one more time. Paragraph times 6.5 right set Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to type out the information. <laughs> mm, I see where my arrow went. Hit that, hold your control and your tab key. And then you're going to insert the phone number. And press enter. And then you're going to type in the address. Hold down your control and your tab key, and you're going to insert the email address, and you're going to save your document. You're now on page 188. You're going to select the name. We're going to make it bold and a 16 point font. And then we're going to come over here to the end of each paragraph. We're going to go to Layout, excuse me, Home, no. Page Layout. And after After, you're going to click it to 18 for the end of each paragraph. including your last box in your table. Next, we're going to select everything on this side and you're going to make it bold.
and on the right side of the experience where you will highlight the job titles and make them bold as well. And you're going to make the name of the school bold as well. I see I have a typo, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay. After Bachelor, we're going to add a 12 point spacing. And after the instructional, the end of the second bulleted, we're going to add 12 as well. And come down here after award, click 12 as well, and you're good to go. And I'm click here, and it should be 12. Okay. Oh, excuse me. That was a mistake. That should still stay 18. Make sure you save. And then we're going to scroll back up to the top of the document. It should look like this. I'm going to fix another typo I have. We're going to click this and it selects the entire document. We're going to go to the design tab. And we're going to get, click on borders. We're going to click on no border. We're going to click on borders again and then go to borders and shading. We're going to click on custom. And scroll down to where you have thin line on top, thick line on bottom. You need to click the top and the bottom. Make sure it applies to the table and select OK. Next we're going to go under Style. and you get to see the different ones. And I'll click out of that. And then I didn't need to do that. That was an extra set. Uh, save our document. We're going to skip objective 3 on page 191. We're not doing a document online. We're going to flip over page 192 and start on number 7 and click file, show all properties, you'll add your tags which is resume and word table. Then for your subject click CS101 and your CRN number. Click save. And this is the end of the tutorial for Word Chapter 2, Project 2A. Thank you.